Good afternoon. I'm Kim Baez. New Mexico has a big problem. The latest numbers rank us the second worst in the nation for teen births, with 53 out of every thousand girls having a baby. The national average nation, the national average rather, is 34 girls for every thousand. Now the good news, our numbers are getting better, but it's clear we still have a long way to go. We have about 4,500 births to teens every year in New Mexico. We know what the financial impact of that is. The human cost is not documented anywhere, but they're huge. Sylvia Ruiz helps fight teen pregnancy every day as part of the New Mexico Teen Pregnancy Coalition. She says New Mexico has always ranked in the bottom five. Poverty has always been associated with teen birth rates, and New Mexico is a state that struggles with it. But she says she's encouraged with the latest numbers. In spite of the economic landscape in which we've been operating, that the teen birth rates in New Mexico continue to decline. In 2009, our teen birth numbers were at 64 for every 1,000 girls, 10 more than the latest numbers. Ruiz says she knows where New Mexico is failing. A lack of programs for young men is number one. They're only starting to understand now and get the education that they are responsible to. We have a couple of young dads who, who have said, um, well, she told me she was on the pill. Ruiz says another area that's lacking, education for adults to pass on to their kids and comprehensive sex ed in schools. We did have House Bill 44 that passed a few years ago that requires health as a graduation requirement. However, given the, again, the economic landscape that we're in, the schools can't afford that. They just can't, and so. So we have, obviously, a long way to go, but um, we've come a long way. Now, the only state that ranked worse than New Mexico was Mississippi. The state with the lowest rate was New Hampshire, with 16 teen births for every 1,000 girls.